If you have more than one outlet within your CTB and Co subscription, we refer to it as a corporate database. You will see the corporate outlet at the top and the separate outlets or cost centers sitting underneath. If you have group recipes that you wish to share between your outlets, this can be managed by navigating to the license tab and selecting the database menu. From here you select recipe allocation from the options. This will open up a window that shows all of the recipes folders and recipe cards in your database so that you can easily select which ones you want to allocate across the group. Once you've selected the recipes you want to allocate, you'll be given the option to either share the recipes or copy them. If all of the information in the recipes is going to be the same throughout the group, you can go ahead and share them. This will share the exact same recipe cards to the outlets you have allocated them to. If you know that the different venues have slightly different ways of preparing their recipes and they may make changes, then select to copy the recipe cards instead of sharing them. This will create entirely new versions of the original recipe cards. The benefit of sharing recipe cards is that you can select which venues will have the same recipe cards and structure, as they will be exactly the same. Bear in mind that any changes made to shared recipe cards will take effect everywhere that it is allocated. If you select to copy the recipe cards, you will create new records for those recipe cards. These will need to be added into either an existing recipe card folder from the outlets you're copying the recipes into or you can create a new folder for them to copy into. Because you're creating new copies of the original recipe cards, there may be stock items used in the original recipes that are not allocated to the outlet you're copying them into. You can simply allocate the original item down to the outlet you're copying the recipes into, or you can search for alternatives from the existing stock list in the outlet. In these examples, there are no existing items to swap to, so the option is to allocate the original stock to the outlet or leave it for now and use the fix broken link ingredients feature in an outlet's recipe page once an alternative supplier has been added to the outlet. Now when you look over the recipe folders in the database page, you'll see where all of your recipes have been allocated to.